Today we re going to talk about a material that UVA probably never noticed before, but quietly plays a huge role in building waterproofing sodium silicate powder. It's inexpensive, environmentally friendly, efficient, and can even save your basement, roof, and bridges. So how does it work, and how to use it properly? Don't worry, we'll reveal it right away. Sodium silicate, common lye known as water. Glass or effervescent soda ash, with the chemical formula Noonsho, is an inorganic compound. It can be liquid or processed into a powder. We refocusing on its powder form today because it's easier to store, transport, and performs amazing lye. Well, in concrete waterproofing, it can be prepared in a variety of ways, such as spray drying or solid phase calcination. And ends up as a fine white or slightly yellowish powder that can penetrate into concrete too, form a waterproof barrier when dissolved. The waterproofing principle of sodium silicate powder can be summarized in three key words: penetration, reaction, and curing. One penetration: sodium silicate solution can penetrate deep into the capillary pore, ease a micro cracks of concrete. The chemical reaction, it reacts with calcium hydroxide in cement to generate calcium silicate gel, which blocks the pores and makes water impenetrable. Three, durability enhancement. The silicate structure formed also enhances the concrete resistance to chemical erosion, prolonging the life of the building. Simply put, it's like giving concrete a waterproofing vaccine that solves the problem from the inside. Rather than just applying a membrane to the surface, the waterproofing ability of sodium silicate powder makes it a savior in several RS. For example, roof waterproofing directly spraying sodium silicate solution can effectively stop rainwater infiltration. Basement damp proofing waterproofing mortars prepared with sodium silicate prevents groundwater erosion, bridges, and tunnels. Enhance concrete permeability and reduce weathering damage. Swimming pools, water towers, prevent leakage problems caused by long-term water immersion. Even oil drilling uses it too. Stabilize mud and prevent caving. Suffice it to say, it's sued for much more than you can imagine. So how does it work exactly? There are usually three ways: direct mixing. Add sodium silicate powder at one percent. To five percent by weight of cement during concrete mixing to ensure even distribution. Surface spray, dilute and spray on hardened ed concrete surfaces and let it penetrate. Waterproofing mortar. Use sodium silicate solution to replace some of the water to make the mortar, and enhance the impermeability. But be warned, sodium silicate is strongly alkaline. Wear gloves and goggles when. Handling to avoid skin contact. What are the advantages of sodium silicate over traditional waterproofing materials? More environmentally friendly, non-toxic and harmless. Will not pollute groundwater. More economical. Low price, about 1,000 yuan per ton. Far lower than some polymer materials. More durable, strong chemical stability. Not easy to aging. Of course, it also has limitations. Such as not suitable for all concrete types, and the construction requires strict control of the proportion. Although sodium silicate powder is low profile, its waterproofing ability should never be underestimated. If you have a leaky roof or wet basement, try this solution. 